Sergey and Angie and my crew. Those are my camera ladies. We are headed down to Florida to um, Fort Lauderdale to do some really, really fun stuff with ATN and UberX and of course Harold from Iguana Lifestyles. So I've got some pretty cool stuff coming up. Stay tuned. We're still riding. Here we come, Nat Nat. Maggie, so this is uh, the videographer. She's the one that's gonna be following us around filming. So what are you most looking forward to on this trip? Uh, most looking forward to seeing how all the footage comes together and <laughs> not skinning pythons. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the offer, Harold. <laughs> I'm looking forward to watching iguanas die. I don't know, I guess this is my first time doing this. I hope I don't mess up. I'm looking forward to shooting iguanas. Never done it before. And hopefully not getting chased by them. I don't just have one thing. I'm looking forward to the whole trip. Guys, so we are here at the rental and what? this place is nice. I'd say this place is perfect. So we got, got some stuff to unpack, things to go through, settling in to do. Guys, this is O'Neill, and she said, all right, go. So I'm gonna ask her the same question I asked everybody else on the way here. What are you most looking forward to on this iguana hunt? Killing something that my husband hasn't killed yet. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Being able to brag about it, so. Sweet, well, we start tomorrow. I'm so. excited. Super exciting. Hello, I'm Harold, the Iguana Lifestyles. I'll be their guide for today. We're gonna go over a safety briefing real quick. Um, so first and foremost, what we're gonna do is safety is first. So not everyone understands what we're doing, but the places we're going to, they are used to us. But we have a lot of winter birds, a lot of people that travel that don't understand this, a lot of out-of-towners. So the first thing we do to any location we get to, we actually call ourselves into the local PD. So if someone doesn't agree what we like and they decide to call them, they'll inform of what we're doing, which is 100% legal and safe. We'll talk about shot placement first. So you see the eyeball? Mm -hmm. What you want to do is go right behind it. Put it right on, I always put the X sight on the eye and just go a tad to the right. We got the X sight fives. This is the scope. And all the batteries are charged up so everything's good. There's SD cards in for recording. So, O'Neill, what do you got to oh. say to your husband? Ha uh ha, -huh, Ryan. <laughs> that was so awesome. You got something you haven't gotten before. Yep. So, you need to come list. out here. Yes.
happened? I mean, <laughs> everybody ran, you ran out of ammo, didn't you? Yeah, and we, we got a refill. Yeah. Cool. So you got your first recovery. She was killed. I don't know how many, but. All right, guys. So I've been trying to get what I've been here. I think this is my third time. Is this my third time here, Harold? Third time here. Third or fourth? Third or fourth time, and I've been trying to get a big one every time. And this is the biggest one I've gotten so far. And. Nice, right between the eyes, headshot. Beautiful, beautiful with the Umarex complete, complete with a K, nitrogen air rifle, and the ATN Excite 5. There's more stuff coming, guys. out here protecting the local and native species. They cause the erosions and collapses of, of, of walls. They also, they get into the pools where people are swimming right behind us, they'll go and defecate in the pools. As you can see, there's no sun, so there's no attraction for them to come out. So we're actually doing some real hunting, looking through these trees with the naked eye, which is very hard. I think we almost passed one, right? Yep, yeah, we, we have a secret weapon. We got this guy only because it was spotted by the ATN Blaze Trek. This is a thermal monocular. I wanna thank ATN and Umarex for sponsoring this trip so we can come out here and help not only Harold, but the residents of South Florida. Hey guys, Eric and Angie, and we're in South Florida. I have O'Neill Marino, not O'Nelly, <laughs> <laughs> with me. And we're out here having fun, but we're also helping with a problem down here in Florida. So tell us what you do back home. Um, we do, um, we eradicate hogs and coyotes for local farmers. It's a lot of fun. Um, totally different from hunting iguanas, um, but the scouting and the stalking are Kind of similar. What kind of equipment do y'all use? Uh, we use ATN thermal sites, go ATN. Uh, we, we typically use the uh, Thor 4 and Thor 5s. We also have monoculars. Um, we just got the Blaze Trek, which has been a game changer as well. Uh, we have uh, bog um, tripods and we hunt fully suppressed. It's so much fun. I get to join you guys in September, yes. so be Sweet. on the lookout for that. So she's already a hunter. She's been hunting for quite a while. What is different about iguana hunting? Um, you're looking up in trees. <laughs> uh, and if they see you, they're gone. Like they, they run, hogs will run too, but sometimes they give you a little bit of leeway. Uh, um, also, we've been using the uh, Excite and it's daytime hunting, which hogs, you know. And you're used night. to the thermal, so yes, it's, it's a yes, little different for yes, you. Yes, yeah. I've had to catch up a little bit with these killers. <laughs> <laughs> so what what do you like about the Excites? Oh my gosh, super, super clear. Uh, it records both audio and um, it has the zero shot. One shot one zero. Shot, yes, one shot zero, which is also very, very convenient. Um, fairly lightweight for like as much as it as much as the you know the pros that it brings to the to the table, and uh, I would say definitely the recording, being able to kill and almost go immediately to, to see how what the video looks like. Yep. They also have <laughs> Wi-Fi where you can connect yep. to your yep. phone, um, and you get the app. We get the yep. Yep. The Connect Five app. You can connect to your phone, and you, other people can see what you're looking at through the scope. So they're it's really so, great products. So much fun. This is Natalie. This is actually my daughter, and <laughs> she's out here with us, Natalie. You've hunted before, right? Yes. What have you hunted? Squirrels, deer. That's that's about it. 
squirrels and deer. Yep, and she's my spotter too. When we go squirrel hunting, if, it, if she was filming me or something for one of my videos, she's a really good spotter. She's got eyes that see everything that moves. So um, it was great to have her along. She's doing the same thing now with the iguanas. She's spotting them pretty good. And out of the three of us, I think we'll have to say that she is number one shooter. She's doing a really, really good job. She's been, what gun have you been shooting? What is it then? I keep wanting to say no I keep wanting to say the nitrous. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Umarex Notos, and she's got an AT and Excite Five on there as well. What do you think about the scope? It's nice. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice, clear shot. You, when, once you focus it, it's really nice. Y'all, she's got some good footage for us. She's done a good job. We were looking at some of the shots last night, and I'm like, what? She acts like a professional. Like she's been messing with these scopes for her whole life. I think we've probably killed close to 50 iguanas yesterday, recovered somewhere between 25 and 30, um, but we're not really about the recovery. It's, it's kind of like armadillo hunting. They're pests, they need to go, and we're gonna take a shot when we get it. So, um, and if we, we recover them, great. If not, that's hopefully one less iguana tearing stuff up around here. This child right here doesn't normally like lizards or frogs. When I first asked her if she wanted to come with me, she's like, do I have to touch them? And she's doing pretty good. You got footage of the one when I was holding it, it started moving and I freaked out and dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, but guess what? That happened on my first iguana too and I did the same thing. We've got some more hunting to do with the Excite Fives. We're actually switching guns. She was shooting the no-toast yesterday, but today she's gonna shoot the complete. So. Um, we might actually swap around a little bit, but we got some more hunting to do. Natalie, thank you for joining us. Thank you for doing such a good job with shooting and getting some great footage for ATN so that you guys can see what we're doing out here and see like the exact shot placement, how much we shake, how much <laughs> we don't hold still. Um, hopefully we'll get it adjusted in the editing so we don't make you guys sick. All right, Nat, you ready to go hunt? Yeah. This chick got the first kill for the day. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that shot. You made his tail wiggle. Perfect. Like, absolutely perfect with the complete bouquet. Thank you, ATN. Thank you, Umarex. Thank you, Harold. I appreciate it. It was a lot of work, a lot of work, but definitely worth it. And we'll hopefully be back. So make sure you check me out. Airgun Angie and Backyard Shooting, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. That's about it. Thank you. Angie's having a good day. <laughs> look, look. Look, look, it's a birthday balloon. What, 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 what? It's a birthday It's a birthday balloon. Oh. Five, five, it's like five, what are you, five, two? Yeah, I'm five, five. five, five. No, I'm, I'm not. That's <laughs> what it says in my driver's license. I like how she did it. She actually, she stood up. High five. That's two extra inches. That's how she gets it.
I wasn't. I was like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs>